Matt Damon calls out George Clooney for defecating in another star's kitty litter box as a prank. Matt Damon has no issue spilling George Clooney's secrets. In a sneak peek of the Kennedy Center Honors, Damon pays tribute to his friend Clooney, who was one of the honorees. The pair have been friends for many years, so it came as no surprise when Damon used the opportunity to poke fun at Clooney, telling some wild stories in the process. It has been said that my friend George Clooney is the last of the true movie stars. So, I got to thinking about exactly what that meant, Damon said, according to E! News. Of course, a number of past Kennedy Center honorees have certainly been movie stars in that classic sense. Actors with class and sophistication, Cary Grant, Henry Fonda, Paul Newman, Gregory Peck. After naming all the beloved actors who have received the same honor as Clooney, Damon roasted Clooney. And then I think of George, a man who defecated in Richard Kind's kitty litter box as a joke, Damon recalled. Kind, best known for his roles as Dr. Mark Devineau in Mad About You and a longtime Clooney friend, was in the audience to confirm Damon's story. In March 2021, Clooney and Kind went into detail on the Smart Less podcast about how the litter box prank came to be saying it started out with Clooney continually cleaning the cat's litter box, making Kind think his cat was constipated. My little kitty. He hasn't taken s, in, I think, three days, Kind recalled to Clooney, who at the time, didn't tell Kind he was scooping the litter box. And then he takes the cat to the vet, and they give him this kitty Metamucil, Clooney added. And so now this little kitty is s, ding 15 times a day. And I am scooping it all up, because I have nothing else to do, Clooney shared. I have no idea why. It's just funny. However, as far as Kind was aware, his cat still hadn't had a bowel movement. The light bulb, you know, goes off, and I realized what I must do, which is take s, in the cat box, Clooney said on the podcast. He's in there for like a minute, and I don't hear anything and then, all of a sudden, I hear, oh. My God, I come in and I just, tears coming down my eyes, I'm laughing, and slowly he figures it out. He gets madder and madder and, finally, he's like, I understand humor. Defecation doesn't make me laugh. During the Kennedy Center honors, Damon also brought up Clooney's penchant for sending letters to others, pretending to be someone else, calling him a man who once stole Bill Clinton's stationery and wrote fake notes to actors saying how much the president loved their movies. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel earlier this year, Clooney elaborated on his love of forgery in the White House incident. The White House stationery of Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton's actual stationery, Clooney told Kimmel. And I send actors all the time, letters from Bill Clinton, about much he loved their movie. Which I guarantee they're hanging up in their homes. So, if anyone's watching, take the picture down. Take it down. Clooney and Damon first met in 1999, when Clooney was just finishing his tenure on ER. They didn't work together until 2001 on Ocean's Eleven, going on to star in six movies together, including 2004's Ocean's Twelve and 2007's Ocean's Thirteen. <laughs>
DDR. They didn't work together until 2001 on Ocean's Eleven, going on to star in six movies together, including 2004's Ocean's Twelve and 2007's Ocean's Thirteen.